I, this is apple. This is a vial of what's usually considered to be a puppy shot, but it's also a vaccine which is used throughout a dog's life. And I'm wearing very cool sunglasses. Now you're probably wondering, what do these three things have to do with each other? I have to start with a little bit of a personal story. Um, about, oh, maybe 10 days ago, I came down with a terrible illness. Um, seemed to be a uh, viral respiratory problem. Kind of like a cold or flu, but uh, kind of like worse than a cold, not quite as bad as a flu. And then to make matters even worse, a few days ago, I developed a horrible case of conjunctivitis, commonly known as pink eye. And that would explain what the sunglasses have to do with all this, because first of all, I really would not want to subject anyone to the horror of seeing my eyes the way they look right now. They're really kind of frightening. So I'd rather you see me in cool shades. Secondly, I'm really kind of a little skeptical. Maybe the virus will have a way of flowing through the internet, reaching out to some of you, and I don't want to make anybody sick. So I'm going to wear shades. I did seek out some medical care from my primary doctor. I've actually been to my doctor's office twice since this all began. First time for cough and sore throat and chest congestion and all those wonderful things that go along with a viral infection. <clears throat> and the second time for the conjunctivitis. But like any good 21st century patient, I also Googled my symptoms and my illness so that I could self-diagnose. What I came up with is that most likely this is a viral infection in my eyes. You know, conjunctivitis can be bacterial, can be viral. Uh, it's a little easier to treat when it's bacterial. And of course, mine does seem to be viral because it's not going away. It'll take some time to resolve. And most likely the culprit is a virus called an adenovirus. Adenovirus is the name of a virus that those of us who breed dogs, veterinarians, know quite well. This vaccine is usually referred to as a DA2PP. And all those little letters and numbers stand for something. The D in the beginning stands for distemper, a very serious illness that we don't want our dogs to get. And so we vaccinate against it. Uh, the two P's at the end stand for parvo, which is another serious viral condition, and we want to control that, and parainfluenza, which is a respiratory problem in dogs and can be extremely serious. The A2 in the middle stands for adenovirus type 2. Now, the canine adenovirus is not the same as the human adenovirus. So I'm not afraid that uh, Apple here is going to catch my viral disease, nor would I be afraid that I would catch hers if she had it. And there are two types of canine adenovirus, not surprisingly called type 1 and type 2. Um, adenovirus type 1 is quite serious, a, a virulent um, viral disease, uh, usually associated with hepatitis. Adenovirus type 2 is more of a respiratory disease, kind of like what I have as a human adenovirus problem. And uh, there is a crossover protection because the, the virus is very similar in one case uh, and the other. And uh, the adenovirus type 2 vaccine gives protection against type 1. So actually, this little vaccine here gives protection against five different potential problems that are all very serious in dogs. Apple, would you pay attention, please? Pay attention. Thank you. Normally, this is given for the first time in a series of puppy shots. We usually give a series of three shots between the ages of eight weeks and 16 weeks. The reason we give three shots is so that we can catch the moment. You want to see it? So that we can catch the moment when the, um, when the inherited immunity 
from the mother is wearing off and then the puppy can develop its own antibodies. Then we give a booster a year later and it used to be given annually but that protocol has changed. Um, the, the commonly used protocol for this vaccine now is to do the puppy shots, give a one year booster later on and then every three years after that. And it's really important that we uh, minimize the number of vaccines that the dogs have to have because every additional vaccination is a strain put on their immune system and uh, does not allow them to protect themselves against other diseases. So I'm going to try to get better. I'll try to be able to do a video without wearing cool shades next time. And Apple, thank you for helping out.